Yo, what is going on, Weedy Nation? It is your boy Javrion here, and today I'm coming to you with you another LA Chargers Connected Franchise mode. Now, if you guys didn't see my last video, I kind of put it up late, and it was the fight of the century last night Conor McGregor versus Floyd Mayweather. You already know, Team Money Team came out there with a W. But I'm sorry I put that video up late. If you guys haven't seen it, go ahead and hit that uh, annotation and watch that video before you watch this one because we will be talking about spoilers. We will be talking about what happened last week. But anyways, guys, you guys saw I just showed the awards and I just showed players I'm scouting. And now I'm showing the – I'm changing the play clock. I basically said I'm, I don't, don't want to be on 20 seconds. I'm going to go on 25. Give me a little bit more accurate numbers when it comes to the game. So we're up in the game now. And Antonio Gates already getting hurt on the first play of the game. This is why I haven't re-signed him yet because I'm like – He's 37 years old. He's kind of fragile, and I'm like, I don't know. So now we got Phillip Rivers trying to do something. The offensive line kind of breaking down. We do get our our left guard back in two weeks, so hopefully we could do some work. But we get Travis Benjamin right there for the first down. So, I mean, we're doing a little bit of something. You know, we're going to do a play action right here. Phillip Rivers said, man, I had an amazing game last week. Hopefully I still keep that confidence up because his confidence reset it from the previous week. Now, it's second and eight. Now, Phillip Rivers looking fine. Tyrell Williams right there. That's what I'm talking about. He got that confidence boost. Like, I'm just saying, it's kind of crazy. So, now we in oh, we in the red zone. We going to give it to our dude Brandon Oliver. He ain't really do nothing. It's all good. I mean, he trying his best. But look at our key and actors, bro. Melvin Gordon out for seven. Keenan Allen out for five. Our left guard is out for two weeks. But we get him back. But we lost Jason Verrett for the whole season. But it don't matter because we fine. Tywell Williams right there for the touchdown his first touchdown of the season and hopefully he has a big game for us because he's been the number two option low-key but ever since Travis Benjamin got hurt he was like the number one option but we get a sack right there Corey Lugent coming in there with a sack the big body himself the D tackle coming in there with the sack so now a second and 20 the X charge there is Sproles trying to show us he still got some electricity from him ever since he left the charges back in the day but we stalled them out. It's 4th and 16. Y'all already know. When I show punts, something crazy happened. It's crazy, man. Let me go ahead. Uh, 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 hold on, hold on. Ooh, hit him with the sudden. Ooh, bro, two tackles. And we get a flag, a stupid flag. Stupid block in the back flag. Whoa, I got to edit that out. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, we got a block in the back right there. So, it, you feel me? It's whatever. Anyways, it's 2nd and 10 now. And... Phillip Rivers looking fine, our dude Travis Benjamin. I just was talking about, yo, this man got the tricks, bro. He just did it on the punt return. Now he's doing it in a regular game. Oh, if you guys haven't done it already, can you guys hit that subscribe button for your boy? Hit that notification icon, too. It lets you know when I put up a video. And look at us getting sacked by Chris Long right there. He tying up his suit thinking he going to do something. Man, I ain't worried about him because, you know, he ain't eat his Wheaties, bro. And we didn't eat our Wheaties today. Tyrell Williams could not come down with the catch. Even though he did make an amazing catch in the end zone, I'm not going to lie. But look at our punter. Our punter came in clutch mode today, putting our opponent on the six-yard line, making them have a difficult time trying to get downfield. Carson Wentz is in his second season, and he don't know what he's doing, bro. Look at this, bro. Don't try my defense, bro. Our defense may not be the best, but do not try our defense because we will come at you, and we will hunt you down. Anyways, and look at this, man. I just told you don't do it, bro. Chris Mager with the pick. And we going to be in red zone already. We're going to be in the red zone already. Starting out our next drive at the 20-yard line. We proving our point. First and 10 now for the Super Chargers. And we kind of super right now because look at Antonio Gates getting another touchdown in his season. This man is proving his point. I believe Antonio Gates have around 15 catches already in the season. He has like five touchdowns. Yeah, so he's proving his point. We get another sack. This time it is Melvin Ingram on our defensive line getting a sack for us. Our D-line kind of beast, bro. Hopefully, Joey Bosa can come in here and get him a sack or something, too. Because we just all feasting. And, oh, my goodness, look at Zach Ertz going right down the middle. Actually, is that, is that my dude Trey Burton? I believe that's Trey Burton, not Zach Ertz. I'm sorry. But it's all good. So it's first and ten. And come on, Chris Maker, you just got a pick, bro. Why are you doing a face mask, bro? I don't know what's going on. Hey, guys, if you guys think I should tune the settings, let me know. I'm kind of waiting till a slider set come out. I don't want to do anything before the week one uh, roster. So we'll see. And look at Darren Sproles. Said, Man, I still got some electricity inside of me. Rhyming accidentally. What am I saying? <laughs> let me stop. Anyways, so yeah, now the charges uh up only seven points. 
But, you know, we not worried, bro. We not worried. Because we're going to dump it off to Brandon Oliver, who was doing an amazing job filling in for Melvin Gordon, our main running back. Now, I might have to draft another running back because Melvin Gordon has some injury problems, it seems like. But it don't matter because we got wide receivers for days. Tyrell Williams with another reception on today. Phillip Rivers is 9 for 12 right now. So it's second and 9 now, and we're going to look. Oh, oh man, not again. Ooh. Okay, Chris Long trying to get in there for a second sack. And we stalled out on that drive. I'm not going to lie. But our punter is coming in clutch mode, y'all. Another amazing point. Uh, another amazing point. First take break. Another amazing punt right there. And we get them in the three-yard line. But Carson Wentz said, no, no, no. I'm the second-round pick. Second overall pick. So it's not going to matter. And actually, that was Zach Ertz that I was talking about earlier. Because Zach Ertz is hurt. And he's out for the game. He's not going to come back. So they got to get Brett Selleck in the game now. But it don't matter who y'all get because your team ain't eat their Wheaties and we not going down. That's all that matters. And look at Darius, bro. Sit your ass down, boy. That's what I'm talking about, man. We going to force a fumble right there. And there's a flag, but it's holding on the offense. They already know we're going to decline that. We're not going to give them another chance to do some cheese on third and 21. So we're going to get the ball right now. Phillip Rivers in the backfield. He feeling himself a little bit. A little, a little, a little something. You feel me? A little something. But... Hopefully he don't throw an interception because he's throwing an interception every single game so far. And it's not looking too good. He's throwing like seven interceptions so far. And look at this guy sending me an invite. And look at Tyrell Williams coming down with that catch right there. He dropped the one earlier, but he said, I'm not going to drop that one right there. And thank you because I needed that. So it's first and 10. And hold on. Wait a minute. Speaking of Tyrell Williams, give me that. That's mine. Touchdown, LA Chargers. So we go up. 14 points late in the second quarter, and the Eagles are looking like kind of crazy. Like, what is going on? And look at Darius Bros fumble the ball again. Y'all, we going crazy, bro. The Eagles are undefeated. Nah, the Eagles are undefeated, so we got a chance to make a team that's undefeated look like a little bunch of kids, bro. And, I mean, we our running defense is not that good. But, hey, I mean, our pass defense is kind of good. Jeremy Achucha. I, I don't know, bro. I know your name, Jeremy. Anyways, we got that. Atachu. We got that. So now it's second half because we didn't really do anything on there. So it's second half right now. They still trying to run the ball. Y'all got to pass the ball because if y'all don't pass the ball, y'all not going to do nothing. Else. Oh, my goodness. Look at Torrey Smith. He still, got the, he still got the juice too. The juice ain't going yet. Or should I say the sauce because the sauce never ends. But it don't matter. But we hitting hard out here, bro. Tory Smith, if you keep doing that crazy stuff, you will get hurt, bro. I'm just saying, you know, because your teammate is going down. Brown with the sack right there. My whole team eating. We looking like Zeke when he was on that one commercial eating all that cereal, bro. Real talk. And look at Tory. Oh, wait a minute. Tory Smith, what I just told you, bro. Wait a minute. Oh, my goodness. He hit us again with it. But did I lie, though? Because he still got hurt either way. He holding his backbone. I don't know. His thigh bone. I don't know. It don't matter. Third and six and law. Oh. Come on, man. We got to not let them get us in the middle. If they get us in the middle, they got a chance to come back. And I ain't got time for Carson Wentz to come back. I ain't got time for no Eagles fans to try to talk down on me because my Chargers are going to win. I know I'm not a Chargers fan. I'm a Colts fan. But either ways, we, we stopped the Eagles. They only got a field goal. So you already know. It's about to be GG for them because they only get a field goal. So we about to get touchdowns. It don't matter because we get Antonio Gates going down the field. Past midfield to the 47 yard line. So we just proving our points. Phillip Rivers is feeling composed. He doing what he gotta do. He scramble when he got to and he make plays when he wants to. Unfortunately, that's not one of the plays because our wide receiver was out of bounds. But it's all good because on the next play, third and seven. Look at Phillip Rivers. Fine. Tyrell Williams for another reception. Tyrell Williams is coming up clutch mode. He said, Coach, don't forget about the other Williams on your team. And look at Mike Williams. Uh, speaking of Williams, our other rookie, <laughs> huh, he dropped the ball. That, that sucks right there. Now, this play right here, I should have threw a, I should have threw a bullet pass because it would have been an easy touchdown. I accidentally tapped it. Antonio Gates dropped it because the coverage came through. So, we got to look through a field goal. But it's all good because we it's up. And it is good. We're going to prove our point either way. So, we're up 14 points late in the third quarter going into the fourth quarter. And they're going to just try to throw it short to Nelson Aguilar. I believe he was the first round pick for them uh 2015. I'm not sure. Anyways, first and ten, they're gonna give it to Darren Sproles, bro. He's still he's still juking us, bro. What is going on, man? 
But this is all good. Fourth quarter action swag. Y'all already know. This is when the Weedy Game Breaker Mode activated. Look at that sack right there. That sack right there. I was so excited when that happened. Look at Melvin Ingram reaching over Darren Sproles for the sack. Bro, I never seen anything like that. I'm so happy they put that animation in the game because it makes it more realistic. And Carson Wentz said, man, what kind of BS was that? But it don't matter because he threw his third interception of the game. Carson Wentz, what are you doing, bro? You got to go eat your weedies. You got to go reset, bro. You got to go hit the reset button because you today's not your day. But we're going to give it to Brandon Oliver. And Brandon Oliver is breaking out, going downfield. Past the 10 to the 5, and he would have got in there if my Michael Kendricks went in there, came up there, and hit him at the one yard line. And we unfortunately actually stalled out at the one yard line. I was looking like my dog Tater God, bro. Honestly, like I was looking just like it because he can't score in the he can't score in the red zone. He can't score within the five yard line. So I was looking like him. Shout out to Tate. Anyways, first and ten, and look at Brett Selleck, the old man, proving his point, but he got hit hard at the bounds. So, the Eagles got to do something, bro. Because the Eagles don't do anything. Like I said, it's GG, bro. And if y'all can see, y'all peep the scores at the bottom, bro. There's a lot of close games going on. The Patriots beat the Panthers by five points. And I'm like, well, dang. And now we got the we got the 49ers versus the Carolina. What am I saying? Versus the Arizona Cardinals. But let me stop talking about that. We got to worry about our game right here. Nelson Aguilar is just dotting us up with those catches. And now Carson Wentz is looking, trying to find somebody. He got all kinds of time. What is this man doing? Oh, my goodness. It hits off the back of his running back's head. And he throws his fourth interception of the game. Carson Wentz is kind of mad. I'm not going to lie. But look at Brandon Oliver. He ate his Wheaties. Yo, if it wasn't for him, Brandon Oliver would have went and got his first touchdown of the season. Oh, my goodness. We're proving our point, man. But we got to do something, bro. We got to do something. We're going to keep doing it, bro. Antonio Gates, that's a go-to target. So, I'm kind of glad he's teaching. I do Nick. Uh, What is his name? Hunter Henry. What am I saying? Why did I say Nick? What am I saying? But what am I doing? Oh, my goodness. Malcolm Jenkins with the pick. And I'm sorry. Sayonara. He gone. So, Phillip Rivers does throw a pick again in another game. But, hopefully, it won't make them come back. I mean, I don't think they're going to come back. If they get this, they might not come back because they're not coming back because we're going to win this game. I hope so because it's on second and one. We're going to do a play fake, and we're going to get the first down and stay in bounds. So, basically, we just got to run this clock out. We got Brandon Oliver trying to get his first touchdown so desperately it says a fumble it got overturned he was at the two yard line either way we're coming out here with a w guys i have thank you guys for the past few days we are at 82 subscribers right now and you guys are really messing with this franchise anyways guys question of the day is how much wheaties did philip rivers eat because this man proving his point let me know in the comment section below this me boy javen around here you already know y'all all champions i love all you guys and stay eating those weeds, because if you don't eat those Wheaties, you're going to be looking like Carson wins. Anyways, I'll see you guys next video. Peace!